Because I choose to be a Christian, I choose to be like him. Nobody's making me do it. This is how I want to live. Oh, you decide for you, and I'll decide for me. But the choice is mine, and this is what I choose to be. Everybody's welcome to our church. You know, it's not like you have to be like us to come and visit. Um, we have Facebook and an iPad and two or three computers and uh, cell phones, and, and we're just as normal as anybody else. So, yeah. <laughs> If I quit taking up serpents, I would die and go to hell. God revealed that to me. I'd never tell anybody, you have to handle a snake to go to heaven. It's in the Word of God, you have to believe it. If God never moves on you to do it, let it alone. The Bible talks about how faith that quenches the violence of fire. If you have all faith in God, this fire right here cannot burn you. You'll get smoke on you, but it won't burn you. Most people think that all we do is handle snakes. They don't realize that they'll take pieces and edit it and cut it and to make it look like that's all we do in a church service. I've seen two months go by and snakes never get took out of the box. They're there every service. I pack them every service. But I have seen two months go by that they weren't handled. A typical service, we go in, we take up prayer requests, we get down and pray, we sing, Maybe the Spirit moves to handle fire, to handle serpents, to, to drink the daily thing, to pray for somebody. We have a sermon, somebody preaches. We have testimony service. Sometimes we have an altar call. You know, we take up an offering. We dismiss and go home, which is what every church does. You know, and, and we're portrayed as, all we do is handle snakes. You know, don't go up there. I've had people tell me, I'm not coming to your church, you'll throw a snake on me. You know, I've had people ask me if I come, do I have to handle a snake? I hope you don't. You know, it's not that we're professional snake handlers. You know, it's not that we can do this whenever we take an ocean. If there's not a movement of the Spirit, leave them alone. I started singing when I was five. Um, then I started playing the piano at nine. Um, I play by ear, I've never had a lesson. You never know what's going to happen. It's not something you plan, you know. It's what God wants, not what you want. So, when the Holy Ghost goes to moving around and it's cycling different ways, you, you just, it's kind of a surprise.
Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday goes for me. I come down here, I box my snakes up, I go to church, go get down and pray, and uh, you just gotta go with your mind on God, and that's what I try to do. I go in there and, and whatever, Lord, you wanna do. You know, I love church, it's my life. Without church, I don't really have a life. We are as devotional as any Baptist, you know, any Catholic. You know, we're all trying to get to one place. They say to take up a serpent means to pick up a sinner and take them to church. We believe you can reach in a box and handle a rattlesnake, a copperhead, a cobra, a puff adder, any kind of snake. We're not so different from anybody else. We've got one goal, that's to die and not go to a devil's hell. Because I choose to be a Christian, I choose to be like Him. Nobody's making me do it. This is how I want to live. Oh, you decide for you, and I'll decide for me. But the choice is mine, and this is what I choose.